All right, guys, everybody loves quickies, especially when it comes to chemistry videos. So check this one out. We're gonna have a little short chat about nuclear transmutations, which is what happens when you take two particles and you smash them together at a high rate of speed. Two kinds, the first I'm gonna talk about is alpha particle bombardment, which is where you take an alpha particle, that's a helium nucleus, two protons and two neutrons, and you smash it into an atom. In this case, a nitrogen 14. What happens? Well, crazy crap happens, that's what. It's so tough to predict what actually happens in these. What we do is we just do it, and then we see what happens. Pff, predictions, whatever, let's just do it and find out. In this case, when you bombard nitrogen 14 with an alpha particle, you end up with an oxygen 17, yeah, and a hydrogen one, or you know, just regular hydrogen. What you'll notice is that the mass on the left, 18, is the same as the mass on the right, 18. The number of protons on the left, 9, is the same as the number of protons on the right, 9. You're not creating and destroying matter here, you're just changing how the protons and neutrons are arranged. It used to be a package of 7 protons, 7 neutrons. Now it's eight protons, nine neutrons. Go figure. Alpha particle bombardment, crazy. Second kind, neutron bombardment. And as far as I know, this is that crazy stuff they're doing in that underground tunnel in Europe. When you bombard uranium-238 with a neutron, you can actually predict what happens here. Because in this case, I'm gonna tell you, they just combine to make something new. What do they make? Well, the mass on the left has to be the same as the mass on the right. So, 238 plus one makes 239. We're not gonna change how many protons there are either. 92 plus zero makes 92. Because there's 92 protons, this ends up giving you uranium 239. This is actually a pretty unstable element. Uh, I don't have it written down what this decays into, but I'm just gonna pretend that it decays into uh, element number 82 with uh, 200 neutrons, and element number 10 with 39 neutrons. See what I did there? I just made sure that the number of protons after decay was 92, because we're starting with 92, and I made sure the total mass was 239, because we start with 239. Now, if I was picky, I would say, what is element number 82? Because we gotta write that symbol in here. Element 82 is lead. No, oh, actually, that could be it. Stuff decays into lead. And element number 10 is neon. Now, I doubt neon has that mass, but whatever. Point is, when you bombard something with a neutron, it literally just combines into a new element. And if that element is stable, it just sits there. If it's not stable, it will eventually decay into one of the, well, into whatever the hell it wants. But uh, the number of protons and neutrons is going to stay the same. All right, guys, that is nuclear transmutations, i.e. converting one element to another by smashing it with some other kind of particle. Best of luck.